Hi, my name is Alex and I am a software engineer on the Argo CD team at Intuit. This is going to be a short video explaining some advanced syncing concepts. We're going to talk a bit about hooks and about resources and then I'm going to show you a short demo of those concepts in action. So most users of Argo CD will be aware that Argo can sync resources and the way that it does that is it looks in Git, takes the contents of Git, passes it to a tool such as Helm or Customize and then applies those resources into the, into the cluster. Um, what you can also do as part of that syncing process is additionally run some hooks. Now a hook is just a resource annotated with either pre-sync, sync or post-sync annotation and additionally that resource can have a hook deletion policy, which means that when it's executed, it's deleted afterwards. It's typically best practice to not name a hook, because if you want to um, sync it again later on, it's a no operation if it has a name. So you typically use the uh, Kubernetes generate name uh, value in the manifest. Now, that pre-sync, sync and post annotation indicates which part of the sync operation that the, uh, the hook should be applied in. So here we go. Standard operation with time going in that direction. What Argo CD does during sync operation is it finds all the pre-sync hooks. The way you'll know it's a, a, a hook is that it'll be, it'll be shown in the user interface with a little anchor sync symbol. Now you can have as many pre-sync hooks as, as you like. What Argo does is it um, puts those hooks into the cluster and then waits until they're all green before proceeding. Next it'll run any resources, so you might have replica set service, etc, etc, and you may also have a hook. And again, it applies all those resources and waits until they're all green, they're all healthy before proceeding to the post-sync phase. And finally, that's a successful sync if everything has gone green. We're introducing a new concept called a sync wave. Now, a sync wave indicates which part of the sync cycle a resource is, is done in. And it's basically a way to um, allow you to deploy some resources, wait for those to become green before you deploy some additional resources. And the way that you use a sync wave is a new annotation called sync wave, and that just takes a numerical value, any integer value, and orders them from the smallest to the largest. So, uh, you know, minus two, minus one, zero, one, two, et cetera, et cetera. By default, everything's part of wave zero. Now, if I wanted this service here to be uh, only executed after the replica set was green, I'd annotate it with a one, or indeed any higher value. And what that means is the Argo CD will make, wait for every resource in wave zero to go green before it runs wave one. So this is my application that uses both hooks and sync waves to perform an advanced sync. These are always done using annotations. So as mentioned previously, it's preferable to use generate name rather than to name your um, hooks and then you identify a hook by having the hook annotation. You can determine whether, whether or not it gets deleted by having um, a hook delete policy and you can determine what order it, it's synced in by setting the sync wave. So let's see this in action. Here's my application viewed through the user interface. You can see it's got a back-end application and a front-end application. And what I want to happen during the sync is I want to run a database upgrade uh, followed by bring the back-end up and then, then I actually want to put up a maintenance page while I bring the front-end up and then take that maintenance page down afterwards. So here you can see the upgrade script running, and as mentioned, it has a little anchor symbol, that's how you know it's a hook. 
This takes around 10 seconds, and every time I run this, I wish I'd made it quicker than this, because I have to fill the dead air. Then the back end comes up, so it creates the two con containers, and obviously I've got two by two replicas, could be Apache, Node, whatever you like. And then it brings up the maintenance page. This job just brings up a maintenance page. It takes a couple of seconds to execute. And it's deleted afterwards, so it has a hook deletion policy of delete on success. Then up comes the front end. This, you know, a node application or whatever have you. And now I want the maintenance. That comes up and that goes green. And finally, the maintenance page is taken down, which you can just see off just the bottom of the screen there. Great, successful wow. If I want to see the status of the sync, I can actually see it in the sync status menu. So let's just, I'll run a sync and I will quickly click into that. So you'll see the result of the sync operation appear on the right hand side. And actually I can terminate this operation at any point if I so desire. Again, this executes in the order, so it'll bring up the SQL. Deploy the back end, no, nothing needs to be done for the back end um, because the back end's already in sync. Then I'll bring up the maintenance page, which takes a, a couple of seconds. Then the front end, and finally, you'll see that the, the, the maintenance page is taken down at the end.